Thanks for checking out this video. So this is the third and for now final installment of these videos of me going through my collection of DVDs and Blu-rays and pulling out stacks and saying, here's this topic of what I own and I recommend you check this out. So this one, I have pulled six films out of my collection that are, they're not all horror, I will say that up front, but I do recommend you checking them out for sure. And these are the kind of the weirdest, wackiest films. I don't know what I'm going to use for the title of this when I'm recording it, but whatever the title says is what I came up with. But they're the weirdest and wackiest, most odd films that I own, but I would still recommend watching them. So I'll tell you why as I go through them. And they are in order of the one I least recommend of them to most like recommend and the most being the last one I'll reveal. So um, the first one is a horror-ish one. It's a horror comedy, basically. And it's got Jeff Goldblum in it, and it's from the 90s, and it's called Transylvania 65000. It's, it's pure comedy, pretty much. It has Gina Davis who shows up in it, which is, is pretty cool. And uh, Michael Richards, his character is really weird. But um, the whole thing's weird, and it's like slapsticky comedy to it. It's actually pretty funny. It's definitely worth watching. I think it's a PG thirteen. No, it's PG. It's actually PG. I just saw. It probably should be PG thirteen nowadays, though. But because um, it has a lot of sexuality to it. But it's a really fun film to watch. Um, it's not super tense or anything. Like I said, it's comedy, so I recommend it. Though it's weird, fun, wacky, definitely. Now, the next one is, I really like this movie, and I don't even know if you're going to be able to find it. It's very, very hard to find. I got it as one of the Tokyo Shock releases, because Tokyo Shock label used to be a thing back in the uh, early 2000s. You could actually get it at Best Buy. That's where I was getting all of them. This one I had to get online, though, because I had heard about it. Actually, a friend had it. I watched it, and then I was like, I need to get my hands on that because it's so good. South Korean zombie film called Bio Zombie. Now, if you've seen this, my hat's off to you. Not many people I know have seen this. This movie is a lot of fun. It is really wacky, though. Uh, it's basically about these two kind of slacker idiot friends who work in a mall, and then a zombie invasion happens at the mall, and they have to become heroes, basically. Now, the thing about this DVD is that the audio quality for the subtitles is terrible, so you actually have to watch it dubbed in order to really hear much of anything. And I actually think that the dubs take it to that next level of weird, wacky, and funny, so it really does work. There is actually one uh, camera shot in this film that's unbelievably mind-blowing and inspiring. I was not expecting that to come from this. Overall, it's super out there, it's super wacky, it's funny, it's fun, and it's actually a really good film at the end of the day. I wasn't expecting it to go where it went in the end, but I was really happy with it. I love this film, but it's crazy. If you can get your hands on Biozombie, do it. The next one is not a horror film, and the next there's the next three are actually not horror films, but I'll you know, I still recommend them. So this one is the Kids in the Hall's Brain Candy. If you like really weird comedy, like weird comedy, I've heard a lot of people say they hate this film for that reason, if they don't like, you know, weird comedy. Um, but if you had ever seen Kids in the Hall and you like their style, you got to see Brain Candy if you haven't already. Uh, they play a lot of interesting, funny characters, and it's basically about this corporation creating a drug that, like, locks you in your happiest memories, and, but then there are side effects to it, and... I don't want to ruin too much about it, but check out Brain Candy. It's wacky. It's funny. You have to like kind of odd, odd comedy. You have to like Kids in the Hall. I do. Next one, like I said, not comedy either. Another South Korean film that, and was on Tokyo Shock, which I don't know why it was on Tokyo Shock because it's not horror or anything or shocking. It's called Attack the Gas Station. This is a w pretty weird, wacky concept about some friends who decide to a attack a gas station because I think they want to, it's been a while since I've seen it, I think they wanted to to rob the gas station and then things keep getting more crazy and out of control and, but there's comedy to it, like intentionally comedy to it. It's, it's a weird concept, it's kind of a weird movie, but it's also fun and funny and I would definitely recommend Attack the Gas Station. Second to last one. Now this one's really weird and when I when I reveal this one, people are going to be like, eh. and hang with me on this. I, I do highly recommend it. It is a documentary, 
and it is called Air Guitar Nation. Now, <laughs> this is a documentary about the national and international air guitar competition. Yes, air guitar is a thing. Now, when I went to watch this for the first time, I was like, this will be funny. I can make fun of these people. It'll just be ridiculous. Believe it or not, by watching this documentary, I got the feeling that it's actually a, like a performance art, like a form of performance art in a sense. Watch it and you'll know what I mean. It, it's got a lot of heart. It's very funny. It doesn't take itself, itself too seriously, nor do the people who are involved in the air guitar competition. Like, they know what it is, but they have a fun time with it, and it's just a fun, really well put together documentary. So Air Guitar Nation, do it. And then my number one weird slash wacky film that I own, I recommend just for the sake of just seeing weird, what weird and wacky really is. And this is uh, also from Japan. This is Battlefield Baseball. And it's basically what it sounds like. It is like a battle on the baseball diamond. And it's this this baseball team. I think it's like a high school baseball team. It's been a while since I've watched it. But from what I remember, it's like a high school baseball team who has to take on all these other teams. And people can get killed on the field, basically. And the teams they take on, like one of them I think is like a whole team of zombies. It's like really whacked out over the top stuff. Like think the most, no pun intended, the most left field stuff that could happen. That's what's happening in this film like all the time. And it's just weird. And But it's fun. It's so much fun because it's so odd. So I would definitely recommend Battlefield Baseball. And that's the weirdest film that I own by far. But hey, cool. Hopefully people enjoyed this. Hopefully people enjoyed all of those three films that I did pulling stuff out of my collection. Maybe I'll do some more of these types of things in the future. But thanks for checking this out. Put some comments down there, especially if you've seen any of these, because I will be relatively shocked, especially if you've seen like BioZombie or Battlefield Baseball or something like that. So let's talk about it. Uh, do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe, because if you like anything I do, it is the best way to pay me back is just hit subscribe. You're not giving me any money. Just hit that subscribe. Uh, and then if you've already subscribed, please just hit that like button so I know that you're still watching. But thanks everyone for checking this out and spending your time with me. Until next time, keep it brutal.